Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about fractions. So, what is a fraction? A fraction expresses, in the language of mathematics, the parts that are taken from something that's divided into equal parts. This something in mathematics is called a whole number or an integer. A whole number can be, well, it can be anything. A pizza, a drawing, a swimming pool, or a delicious apple. Mmm, just like this one. Let's imagine I have this apple and I have to feed this cute little goat. The apple is very big, so I'm going to split it in half in two equal parts, just like this. So, I've split the apple into two equal parts. I'm going to give one of those parts to this little goat. Look how happy it is. And I'll keep the other part. I gave her half of the apple. A half. That's a fraction. But then, how do we express this in the language of mathematics? Well, it's very easy. We express it like this. We draw a line, the fraction line, and write two numbers. The bottom number is called the denominator. The denominator tells us the equal parts into which we've divided the unit, in this case, the apple. It's a two because we've divided it into two parts. If we divided it into three parts, the denominator would be a three. Very good. The top number is called the numerator. The numerator indicates how many parts of the whole number we have taken. In this case, how many parts of the apple the goat has eaten. It's a one because it ate one half, right? Fantastic! Now we know how to write a fraction. Now let's learn how to read it. When we read fractions, we first say the top number, the numerator. The numerator is read as we normally do with cardinal numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we name the denominator. And when we name the denominator, we do it with partitive numbers. For example, if it's a 2, we say half. If it's a 3, we say a third. If it's a 4, we say a quarter. If it's a 5, what do we say? Fifth. Very good. From 10 onwards, that is, from the 10th, it's even easier. Because all you have to do is add the ending th, th to the number. So, 11 is read 11th. 12 is read 12th, and so on to infinity and beyond. Now, let's take another example. Let's suppose I have this pile of fresh straw. I'm going to divide it into six equal parts. Haha! <laughs> I knew more goats would appear. Wait, don't eat it yet. We still have to. Well, it looks like the goats have eaten four pieces. Let's express it in fractions. The first thing we have to do is see how many parts the whole number has been divided into, which in this case is the pile of straw we had. We put that number at the bottom in the denominator. And in our case, it is six, because we have divided the straw into six equal pieces. Now we will see how many of these six parts the goats have eaten. Four! They're so greedy! Well, we put that four at the top in the numerator, like this. So, we have a fraction of 
four sixths. The goats have eaten four sixths of straw because they have eaten four parts of the six into which we had divided the straw. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> now we know that a fraction represents the number of parts we take from a whole number that is divided into equal parts. No, no, you've already eaten too much. You'll get tummy ache. Hey you, he ate another piece. He's changed the fraction. Which part of the fraction has changed? The numerator. Very good, because we've taken five parts of the whole number that was divided into six parts. How about now that you know how to express fractions and read them, you have a quarter of a chocolate to celebrate. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. See you next time. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.